So it's uh, Sunday morning, and uh, Sharon and I have just watched our uh, favorite TV show, which we watch every Sunday, and it happens to be five hours long. Now, I missed a couple of hours this morning because I slept in. Uh, but we really enjoy it, and then we top it off with a big breakfast. We usually have a, a nice cheese omelet with uh, hash browns and vegetarian bacon. So I'm just getting that ready now. Sharon's worried because I'm uh, still in my jammies and she, I'm sure, will not want to be in a video with her jammies on because she doesn't like that uh, kind of stuff. But I'm just going to get these potatoes washed and get ready for uh, our brickie. Sharon's very sensitive about being dressed up when she's in a video. She hates uh, feeling unprepared. So, uh, you know, that kind of makes it a little more difficult doing a reality type video. However, uh, we'll see how we cope with it. So I've just uh, cleaned off the potatoes and uh, guess where we got them? <laughs> the farmer's market. Where else? And these are Yukon Golds. They're really delicious. And uh, I'm using these. These are carrots. And look at that. Different colors. And where do we get those? at the farmer's market. Multicolored carrots. Well, what will we think of next? So we'll just uh, chop up the uh, potatoes and carrots here. And we're going to add some mushrooms to it. I don't uh, peel the potatoes uh, if the eyes are sprouting. I cut them out, but these ones are not bad. They're pretty tight, so I don't have to worry about it too much. I cut them up fairly small. And I uh, have a pot close at hand so I can put this, the chunks of uh, potato and carrot right into the pot as I'm working. It's a bit inefficient way here. See that? Just because I'm taking a video, things have to fall out in the wrong place. I love the Sunday morning breakfasts. They're kind of a ritual that we take part in own little ritual every Sunday morning. Sharon has just informed me that she thinks I should get dressed if I'm going to do video, which is, uh, I think, quite uh, what I would predict for her to, uh, to say. And I will. So I've just chopped up this carrot. Look at that. Multicolored. Kind of a dark purple outside and orange inside. And I will do the light one. And it is a carrot, not a parsnip. I don't like to skin these things any more than I have to because I think most of the nutritional benefit is close to the skin. So I'm always conscious of that. Now we'll go for the mushrooms. We got these beauties at uh, one of the local greengrocers. And uh, such a deal. That whole package, it was quite full. There was a lot more in it than this. And it was $1.99. Imagine that. <laughs> Sharon's getting dressed. I guess she's been hearing me doing the video here. So she's uh, getting out there and getting ready, which I think is great. I love that. So here's our potato and carrot mixture, which I'm going to put on the stove to boil right now. Uh, I won't put the mushrooms or uh, and I'm going to do onions as well, but those I'm, I'm not going to put on to boil. And here's our mushrooms swimming in the wash water. So now I'll get the uh, onion ready. The onions are uh, getting a little uh, at the end of season, as you can see, quite a bit has to be trimmed off of this one. So I just grab my paring knife. A 
lots of onion has to come off of here. Get it right down to the portion that you wouldn't mind eating. If there's any doubt, I always just throw them out because that's my first rule in the food preparation. If there's any doubt, throw it out. Uh, when I'm doing onions, one little tip uh, I think you might like to know is it's good to uh, keep your hands wet when you get started and then rinse them right after. That way you're, you're, you don't go around with hands that smell of onion all day. So that's why my hands are wet and I like to cut the onion fairly fine as well. So here's my frying pan and I am going to turn it on high and I'm going to set a timer for one minute. And that's just so that um, the frying pan can be preheated and after the one minute I will turn it down to the temperature that I want. But I always set a timer because you know when you put your, your margarine or butter into the pan and it's goes brown because the pan is overheated and um, your your vegetables are getting brown spots on them from the heat uh, before you actually want them to it's kind of annoying so that's it one minute seems to do the trick to preheat the frying pan then turn it to my desired temperature which is a little bit below medium Okay, the timer went and in goes our marge. In this case, I'm using non-hydrogenated margarine because uh, that's what I believe is the, the healthiest. Some people think butter is healthier. I, I don't know. I'm open to a debate on that. And if you want to comment on that in the comments, I'd sure love to hear from you. There's our margarine melted in the uh, frying pan. And as you can see, it hasn't uh, sizzled up too much or turned brown. That's uh, that's the way I do it. Our potatoes are starting to boil. As you can see, I always uh, boil the potatoes with a lid on, and that's so I can save energy. And then I turn the heat right down. Uh, you don't want to keep boiling them on high. Got my lens a little steamed up. And over here, I've got my onions, and I cook them with a lid as well. Uh, I always like to cook with a, a lid on to save energy. I set my timer for four minutes. I check every four minutes. Um, and make sure everything's going okay. Now all I got to do is slice up the mushrooms. The mushrooms won't go in the pan until the onions are pretty much done. Once the onions are done, that's when I put the mushrooms in. So I cook the, mus the uh, onions in the frying pan separately from the potatoes and carrots and then I add the potatoes and carrots once they're cooked and once the onions are cooked. So usually I have to turn the onions off before the potatoes and carrots are done and just let them sit there uh, until until everything's cooked and then I add them. The, the mushrooms I put in about four to five minutes uh, at the end just before I put in the potatoes and carrots and the reason I do that is mushrooms don't take that much cooking. So my timer just went, that's the first four minutes, and now I just kind of break up the onion bits a little bit and give them a quick turn. As you can see, they're not cooking that fast. I don't like to cook them too fast. I like to cook them slow. Now, I imagine there's some cordon bleu chef out there who's groaning right now. That's the way I do it. We'll check our potatoes and as you can see they are boiling. Uh, I've got the temperature set very low. Don't forget to set your timer again and here it's for four minutes and this one uh, it repeats so I don't have to punch in four minutes every time. I just every four minutes I just press the start button. So I uh, got distracted a little and the timer went off so Sharon's come in and she's done the stirring for me. She just turned off the timer. Just uh, turn them over a little bit and stir them around. It's starting to smell really good. Don't forget to restart the timer. The mushrooms are done 
are not done, but the onions are done, and I'm adding the mushrooms now. Uh, we did have to turn off the frying pan for the mushrooms for a few minutes uh, because they were going to be overcooked otherwise. So I'll just give that all a little bit of a stir. Fill it on again. Set my timer. Now we'll see how these potatoes are doing. I'm just going to prick them with a fork. Well, the potatoes are done, but I don't think the carrots are quite done yet. So we'll just give them a little more time. We're having uh, vegetarian bacon this morning, so I'm turning on the grill just to make sure it's ready. So there's our mushrooms. They don't take a lot of cooking. I'll give them a couple more minutes. I did have uh, the frying pan turned off just before I put them in there, so it was a little bit cool when they went in. Steaming nicely now. Okay, the grill is turned on. I've moved the uh, mushrooms and onions to the back burner. We've had a little bit of a change of plan. Uh, I'm going to put the mushrooms in the omelette instead of in the in with the potatoes and carrots. And I've got my second frying pan here. And here again, I'm putting it on max. I'm setting the timer one minute to preheat the frying pan. And I've got my bread all ready to go in the toaster. And I've got my bacon out ready to go on the grill. Now this is uh, vegetarian bacon, as I said. Tastes quite good. Uh, for those who are meat inclined, it's uh, you can do the same thing with regular bacon. And there's our marge, non-hydrogenated margarine is what I'm using. Uh, but you could use butter and I try not to get the pan too hot so that it doesn't turn brown when it hits the pan. And here is the, uh, the carton of eggs. We use these fresh free-range brown eggs and guess where we got them? If you guess the farmers market you're probably getting pretty close. Okay so we'll get those into the bowl. Oops I forgot to have my little garbage container handy. I just use an old margarine container so that I have something to put the shells in. And I'll stir up the eggs. You know, we try to buy stuff uh, that's grown close to home because we, we do like to conserve energy. And I think it's important. Some of the things we eat though are flown in from all across the world, I suppose. I mean, we can't grow oranges in this part of the world. and. I do like oranges. So the eggs are going into the frying pan. Now I'm going to add the mushrooms. Just try to spread them out a little bit evenly in there. I'm adding our potatoes and carrots in with the onions here. Give those a, what you want to do is lift from the bottom and turn it over and then uh, we won't put the lid on this one now because they taste better if the potatoes can brown a little and we've got to turn that burner up a bit not too high back to our eggs I'm just gonna grate uh, cheese this is uh, cheddar cheese Canadian cheddar cheese it's really delicious it's not actually something we purchased at the farmer's market or traded for at the farmer's market. But they do sell cheese at the farmer's market. They just didn't have to have any there this time uh, that we would normally use in an omelet. I think they had some Gouda there, but uh, quite often we get cheddar cheese at the market and the Gouda cheese. And then um, the next step in doing the omelet is to put the lid on it. I don't turn the omelet, I just let the lid do the top and the frying pan do the bottom. I set uh, the timer for the eggs. I'm putting bacon on the grill. And the bacon will be done 
just a little bit after the eggs are done. Now I'm going to show you a little energy trick. We've got the grill all preheated. It's nice and warm. Sharon needs to turn on the coffee, so we want to. Uh, we don't want to blow a circuit breaker. Well, I'm just going to turn the grill off and uh, let the heat that's still in there cook the bacon. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the coffee. Uh, and we're talking a little bit about saving energy. Well, this uh, we uh, we bought this at um, a thrift shop type of store. And it's wonderful. We paid next to nothing for it. And it's got this wonderful big coffee pot. Makes uh, 14 cups. Isn't that terrific? Can't see those too frequently. Anyway, uh, recycling is good. So we do recycle. Sharon's put the toast in the toaster for me. So I'm just going to pop it down. So remember, we want to brown up these uh, potatoes a little bit. And our timer is going to go any second and we'll check the omelette. we got just a few seconds left here. There we go. Now the omelette should, <coughs> shouldn't be liquid on the top. It's just not quite ready. So I'm going to give it another two minutes. Sharon's got the table all set for us. Our toast is popping. Time to get the toast buttered. Oh, it sounds like our eggs are done. I'll just get Sharon to come and help me out with the buttering this toast. There, that uh, is fully cooked. Now, one thing I could have done two minutes ago, and which I probably should have done, is I could have turned off the burner and just let the heat of the uh, frying pan finish cooking that omelette. But, you know, I was in the middle of making a video. Didn't think of everything. Uh, time to turn the, the veggies. It's starting to get a little brown there. And as you can see, I'm going right to the bottom and turning them over, and from the outside to the in. Let's take a look at our bacon. Mmm, looks delicious. So Sharon's just done the toast. Well done, Sharon. Okay, time to get the omelet out of the pan. I cut it in the portion size as I want. Sharon doesn't eat quite as much as I do. That's good. And a little bit of bacon. And there you have it. So the, there's our breakfast all ready to eat and uh, we've got some nice fresh jam there right in front of Sharon which uh, we got at the farmers market. Uh, we're gonna quit having video for a moment and eat our breakfast. Uh, the only thing that's missing here is our coffee which is still coming down in the coffee maker so it'll be nice and fresh when we serve it up in a couple of minutes. Well Sharon, how's the breakfast? It's absolutely delicious. Thank you, Fred. And here's our little moocher. She comes around at breakfast time looking for a little piece of cheese. Hillary! There we go. The coffee has been served. And uh, one thing I want to mention about the coffee pot that I was talking about earlier is that uh, one of its uh, lacks, I guess you could say, is that uh, it has a, a, a burner under the pot that keeps the coffee warm, which is not very energy efficient. So we try to transfer the coffee to a thermos pot after we've, uh, we've made it. also makes the coffee taste better when you put it in a thermos. So that's my tip for today. Put it in a thermos.
Hi. It's gorgeous out here. If you'd like to keep up with Fred and Sharon's reality show, click on subscribe.